usual I forgot to take the camera cap off so I had to stop and get the cap off the camera so anyway here I am on my first uh, service for this bike that is the 600 mile service so heading out on this beautiful Thursday morning uh, it's kind of it was it rained a little really hard yesterday so that's good don't have to turn the sprinklers on and it's been uh, raining uh, off and on so uh, everything is green and beautiful here this spring uh, all the lakes are getting filled up which is good you want a problem in the summer here that's what I like about Davos uh, it's green it's flat it's not as uh, as much there are not as many trees as uh, northeast or anywhere but it's not as dry as uh, El Paso or New Mexico or any of those places in fact if you uh, if you drive uh, out west from here you will actually uh, see the gradual change in the topography so this is the right uh, medium I think beautiful wide open spaces and also uh, you have the greenery it's not as dry as uh, Arizona or New Mexico uh, other than that uh, has been happening is not uh, nothing much I've been uh, just riding around in the city uh, I've been uh, trying to get to some uh, you know uh, outdoor outside uh, trips but uh, you know I just got lazy <laughs> you know so because what I do is Friday I go meet up with uh, some riders they are the Indian motorcycle riders or DFW so just go there chat and hang out that's Friday evening and then the Saturday morning I have the uh, BMW group we chat uh, again Saturday morning so those two rides I do and then uh, Sunday I try to head out on my own but uh, off late I've not been doing much of that I like to uh, pick up some of the rides which these guys do and do it on my own. That's what I'm going to do. I've been saying that for a while now. And uh, a crazy wind today, it looks like. Hopefully, we're not getting too much of that on the microphone. So, uh, yes, yeah, so, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, bikes <laughs> great as usual. I'm uh, perfecting uh, the t turns, the curves, and also the biggest thing I'm working on right now is to keep the handlebars really, really loose. So that's what it is. As good as not holding them at all. And that actually, uh, you know, uh, got my shoulder twinge I mentioned uh, a few videos ago. That totally is gone now, thanks to this position. And uh, and also I'm uh, really able to take the curves aggressively if I need to not that I do it all the time but it's there if you need it so that's where I am so heading out uh, for the service I uh, will uh, keep you guys posted I've asked those guys uh, to get the alt rider uh, radiator guards but uh, it looks like they are still uh, in development that's what I call alt rider and they told me so hopefully uh, they should uh, come in a couple of months uh, although I'm not really doing any offer as much right now so I can just wait for it to come because uh, I figured out that <laughs> uh, man I've been watching the comparos between the Modos GPS tire and the uh, uh, GPS uh, on the Modas Adventure tire which is a 25 75 instead of the GPS which is a 50 50 and yep the adventure is what I need 
because uh, the GPS is alright for a regular 50-50 guys but if you want to go in deep sand buddy you need the adventure you need the knobbies the real big knobbies so I think I'm gonna get that that's a gimme when this tire wears out so that's what I'm gonna do that's something I thought I'll tell you guys because that tire you know even though I might not do it off-road all the time but when I do it I want to do it really well and that's the tire which makes it really simple my thing is not to complicate my riding you know just want to keep it simple so the more aids I the more uh, help I get from the tires I'll take it buddy I don't want to keep dropping the bike if I don't have to because uh, if you don't have the uh, full knobbies like those adventure tires what happens is um, your back wheel and your front wheel is going to wander around a little bit more you know you might want uh, you might lose a little bit of uh, traction uh, not traction but you might lose a little bit of um, uh, comfort on the pavement because uh, any small groove it's going to wander with that uh, but uh, you know is just a lot but I don't mind sacrificing a little bit of uh, road comfort so that my off-road becomes easy because in the road I can just slow down to about 50-60 miles an hour and that should be alright but off-road <laughs> buddy you're gonna take a drop yeah the traffic is not too bad today uh, Dallas is pretty much uh, it's alright if you don't go in the peak rush hour and uh, Plano is a pretty nice place actually, uh, although I live in Prosper which is north of here. Uh, Plano was the first city which kind of uh, started developing in the late 80s and then uh, probably in the 80s actually and uh, they done a good job planning this city, uh, keeping all the businesses in uh, one or two main art arterial roads and then everything else is residential and a lot of connector rectangle crisscrossing roads which are which are good so traffic moves pretty smoothly so here we take a left here to Plano Parkway and then yep let's stop that's what this is about beautiful bike look at the way emergency stops are like a breeze you know that's what I like about this uh, although I can't say too much because I haven't ridden the other bikes oh there is a Porsche black Porsche water-cooled so that ahead is the George Bush turnpike which is another big road you can see it moving comfortably in the afternoon Freely in the afternoon, not too much traffic. Everybody's working. So make a left here and then make another left at K Avenue. And that's where the BMW dealership is. If I go straight, that's where my Starbucks is, where we meet regularly every Saturday morning I give my attendance out there and they do a good job with all the trees and stuff so roads are all six lane roads and trees on the sides beautiful sunshine uh, what more can you ask for Oh, construction on the right. <laughs> and 
another thing I need to fix is this uh, mirror when I make when I do a complete uh, lock on my steering on the right hand side this hits this guy here so I think I need to fix that there's some gravel here uh, I think I need to be worried about it as much <laughs> riding a bike because you are responsible for yourself <laughs> yeah that's what I was telling my friend the other day you know I'm so used to riding this bike now with all the electronics and uh, you know linked braking and everything else uh, if I have to ride another bike, I gotta be very, very careful because a lot of these electronics which you take for granted might not be available on those bikes. So you barely use any of your uh, rear brake here. But if it's not linked, then I guess uh, it's a very good practice to use both. So I guess in the 600 mile service, uh, they give you, they take that, put that plug in so that you get your Enduro Pro and your uh, Dyna Pro mode, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what they do with it. Another thing I gotta make sure is that even if I have to do an emergency maneuver I shouldn't grab at the handlebars and that's another thing I need to work on just make sure I do that correctly it's an interesting safety tool for all your prop changes or oh, propeller for the boats I thought it was aircraft propellers how many people are buying aircrafts and looking to repair the propellers I guess there are a few of those people at an appointment at 1 o'clock I think I should be there close to that now Okay, there you go. Very good. Uh, here for a service, the first service. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, I will wait for it. Uh, which side? Where do I sign it? Right here in the red box. Oh, right here, okay. okay. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, I'll just get my stuff out of there and. Thank you. <laughs> After that 1250, if you remember, which I, 1200, which I had, remember? Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully now. See, actually, for me, as a you know, little more conservative rider, it's 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 all right. It's got just a little bit extra power and stuff, but uh, you know, it's, it's good. I like it though. Well, good. Yep. I'm glad. I like I'm that. Glad you're back on. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I would love to, but no, not yet. <laughs> oh man, it's always difficult to get away from. Uh, work I guess. <laughs> there you okay, go. thank you. Take it easy. You too. Oh and this is the uh, the cap. Okay. It really doesn't do anything unless you have pro mode installed but in case you ever want to take pro mode out. Okay. You can always have the cap. Cool. All Great right. thank you. Phone connected. Yeah this
this gloves here is actually giving issues so what I need to do is just probably just keep it open and that way it stays open because when you pull it in it's all right but it's a bit of a pain and it's better off I think just to keep it aired out in the summertime I think I'm good Close there. Close here. I think they're good. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll again. The handlebars are good. We are set. We are in pro mode. Let's just take off on this. Now I see the plug right there on the Enduro Pro. That says rain mode, dude. I'm not in. I don't want to be in rain mode. No, not Enduro Pro. gotta figure out it says dynamic pro I thought we had dynamic or dynamic regular but it looks like you're either pro or you're not pro are you either pro or you're nothing it's all or nothing now so that's okay I will take the pro okay so the service has been done it's perfect Set. Uh, I got to meet a Fort Worth police officer who was coming in uh, to get his uh, RT uh, tires changed on his RT. So I was chatting with him. <laughs> it's interesting to see uh, how police officers think motorcycles are. I was just talking to uh, talking to him about you know, all the low speed maneuvers they do and how cool they are. So he said, uh, "Yep, that's part of the stuff there." They need to get done every year just to make sure they're able to ride <laughs> so that was cool so yeah, a good chat there so the bike is all set for another uh, probably 6,000 miles I think so I'm good so heading back home and uh, I love this Revit jacket I probably need to do a review on this because the temperature is 88 degrees and if I'm moving it's really cool, very comfortable. And same thing with the Revit gloves, which is really good. It's got some mesh panels in the middle. So, and good for this weather. Okay, I will talk to you guys later then.